Ah, Cyrus, I too have women pining for me, but I leave them behind in pursuit of true knowledge. And I just don't know when they like me, just like you! Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of Octopath Traveler on the Nintendo Switch. My name is Tofu. Last time we met Cyrus, we discovered who stole the special tome and uncovered Russell's big two-year scheme in order to pay off his gambling debts, and now we're back! We're back, and we're about to leave town. So let's get into it. Hello there. Bro Palace is just a ways north from here. Thank you for that information, I never would have guessed. You, children, speak oh, to me. Yes! I plan on studying hard and becoming a scholar! Well, bully for you! Can I scrutinize you? Childhood friend of the reckless boy by her side. Being the older by two years, she was entrusted with watching over him. Despite his endless curiosity, oftentimes putting him most in danger, she takes her role seriously and is prepared to face whatever challenges come her way. Cool. So most of these things seem to give hidden items. So maybe that's what, um, that's what I found. It was that blue light. It's because I scrutinized that guard. Boy, age eight, brimming with curiosity, this young boy will go to whatever lengths necessary to sate an interest, even if it puts him in danger. Though his reckless tendencies worry those around him, the oftentimes rare and valuable items he brings back from his adventures have earned him the esteem of his friends. Smarter bartering. Cool, what does that do? Not sure. Let's talk to him. Hey, look at this! I found this huge egg just lying around. Isn't it amazing? Yes, very, very cool. Speaking of cool, got an item! A light soul stone. Don't know what that is. Armor, what do you have to give me? Uh, light staff, which will boost a bunch of my stuff. Quartz rod, some stuff that's way too rich for my blood. Ooh, evasion. Uh, I can get a shield, pointed hats, other stuff. Um, I don't have all that much money, though. So I'll hold off on that for now. I could probably sell my old equipment, but... Oh well, I'll figure it out. Ooh, shop. Well met, Traveler, what can I do you for? Oh, this is a tavern. Um... Well, this is my only party. Let's hear a tale. Your name is Cyrus and you're a scholar in the Royal Academy in Atlas Dam. Yes? Oh, that must be a way to switch stories. That's right. There's nothing better than seafood to go with a good drink. Even them brainy scholars will agree with me. I do not, actually. Now let's scrutinize you! Every morning, this fisherman hauls his fish to the castle town of Atlas Dam. He takes the leftovers to the tavern to have it cooked and enjoys the fruits of his labor alongside a few drinks. Good life, good life. How do I talk to you? Hello! Oh, I see you're taking an interest in me, Axe. You're not like most of the other scrawny weaklings around here. I do love your axe, good sir. An old mercenary who spends most of his day in the tavern, he claims the liquor calms his nerves, so when summoned by his employer, he reports for duty with staggering steps. Not really how you want to be reporting for duty, but I guess you can do it. If you can do it, more power to you. Uh, let's scrutinize this guy, see if we can find a hidden item. After great pestilence in the Riverlands, this apothecary decided to dedicate himself to disease percent prevention and swift treatment. He now works together with the Royal Academy and Atlas Stam to create both medicine and new forms of treatment. Cool, you are like the apothecary. Guide with ease. I don't know what that is either. I suppose we'll figure it out as we go along. Provisioner! What can I buy from you? I do need some more healing grapes. I'll get up to 10. I'll get up to 10. Those are expensive. I love of life, glamour, light, revival. Huh. I guess I'll get a couple of these. They're relatively cheap. And like I already said, my my funds are already dwindling. How fair they. You see that library near the palace? It's filled with all sorts of historical books. And thus. Libraries aren't for me. My cows are my priority. Scrutinize your cows! A thoughtful rancher who delivers the fresh milk from his cows to his parents every morning. His parents worry for his future though as he dedicates his entire life to work alone. But he's working with cows. So discount at inn, it seems like I can get some extra bonuses and stuff. 
This is Atlastem, the largest city in all the planets. It's a city of learning where many scholars come for the purposes of study and research. Cool beans, bro. I am the scholar here. In charge of defending the castle town, this mercenary tuned guard keeps a vigilant eye on those coming in and out of the gates. Once he spots a suspicious figure, he uses whatever means necessary to apprehend them. New weapons for sale? Awesome. Always good to save. Any RPG you play, you gotta save. Save, save. I can rest at the end, but why would I want to? Um... Okay, story. Now, I must find out all I can about from the far reaches of hell. My erstwhile colleague, Odette, knows more about arcane studies than anyone I know. Last I heard, she sojourned in Quarry Quest. I should begin my journey there. And so Cyrus left the academy behind in search of the lost tome. From the far reaches of hell, what dark secrets might its pages hold? Only the gods know. One gripe I have is that Cyrus doesn't talk very loudly. I'm always having trouble find hearing his voice over the music. Across our stir, there are seven others who await you. Why not venture out and find them? Sweet! With the trees just kind of fade in and out. Oh god, I love the aesthetic of this game. Ooh. A monster came out of nowhere, and it got me in the leg. I can hardly put any weight on it. I hate to be a bother, but do you have a healing grape to spare? I may or may not have a healing grape to spare. It feels good to be back on my feet. I can't thank you enough. I've, I'd have been done for if you hadn't come along. My name's Kit. I'm on a journey to find my father. He disappeared when I was just a boy. This is a boy. I, I'm getting genders all kinds of wrong in this game. Are you on a journey too? Perhaps our paths too will cross again someday. Be safe, and may your travels bring you all that you seek. Well, thank you. There are people who need your help all across our stir. There may be more than one way to solve their problems. Ooh, that's a good windfall. And I see this chest here. Inspiriting Plum. Uh, shall I head north? There's no green on my map. Uh-oh. Danger level 1, North Atlas Dam Flats. So I'll be running into stuff out here, I guess. I don't know where exactly I'm going. Nothing's telling me, like, oh, there's a green point up somewhere. So I guess this is the open world aspect. And we've got a frog here. You're weak to ice. Get wrecked. Break you. While you're broken, I'll just go for a basic attack. See what we can do to you. Not weak to that, unfortunately. You charge at me, how dare you? Uh, let's go with the ice bones, just to break it. Now we can do the plus three boosted basic attack, see how much this can do. Not all that much, I should have just spent the mana. These things have so much health. Sweep! The sweep the leg! Expansion? You did not sweep my leg. Oh, ice. Here's the proof. Break it with an ice wind. And go for the plus three ice wind. Oh, ice. Here's the proof. Not bad. A pass. Good stuff. 
That was a frog. It did have a name under it. I see this chest up here. What do you have for me? A thunder soul stone. Ooh. I think that's the second soul stone I've picked up so far. I'm not quite sure what they do. I've, I've got some ants here. Uh, what are you weak to? A little thunder or lightning? The logical course of action is to lightning bolt. Double break. Got another boost point. So let's go for a plus two lightning bolt. Let's see if we can end this quickly. Gods, how much how much health do these things have? And they're just kind of attacking me, whacking me. Gotta go for another lightning bolt. There we go. It's like 400 health or so? 350? Takes up way too much SP. I don't want to go back and heal though. Uh, the spiriting slum, I guess. And a healing drink to top me off. What's this refreshing gem? Which stores HP and SP. Well, look, any kind of equipment I have? Staff. No shield. Hat. Wind attire. Nope! Nothing at all. Um... How can... World map. Transport yourself instantly to any town you visited before. Ooh. So I can go there. Ophelia chapter 1 and Hanit chapter 1. So I am headed north towards this way. Oh, I can see all of them. I think I do want to pick up Ophelia. Ah, uh, but Tressa. Yeah, I think I'm gonna head south. Let's head south instead, pick up my merchant. This is just not a good, good way of going about this. Always save, make sure you're always saving. Are you? There are more people who can talk now. Well, let's talk to them. Me. This crest won't even buy me a proper drink around here. You think that means anything, this useless thing? Sure, it meant I was part of something once, and what does that mean? Nothing. Brotherhood don't fill your belly. Um, okay? Now I have a chance to scrutinize. A terrible drunk who becomes incredibly violent when deep in his cups. A former mercenary, he knows all too well how to hurt a man, and his rampages have led him to be cast out from many a tavern. His sole prized possession is a small gold medal. But he doesn't give me anything. Who are these people? Greetings to you. Capable culinarian. I've been asked to cook for the king himself. I do not lack for confidence in my skills. Alas, I cannot seem to get my hands on the ingredients I need most. I want only the best milk, crab, and eggs. Okay. Well, that's a side quest. Scrutinize you. The finest chef in Atlas Dam, he worked when he worked in the palace, his cooking could please even the pickiest eater of the royal family. Now in pursuit of making the finest food, he is very particular about his ingredients but has difficulty finding them. Okay. Got a whole bunch of side quests now. Got a nourishing nut. I'm a teacher, you may call me Thoracio, but I'm afraid of being hounded by nasty vicious moneylenders. You've got debts. You've got lots of debts. Scrutinize you. A kind-hearted, albeit inexperienced professor at the Royal Academy who folds easily under pressure. Deep down, he's a passionate individual with a dream he wishes to see come true. So you too have a dream. Uh, where can I check out these? Miscellaneous? Nope. Status? Nope. Journal, that's gotta be some... Uh, nope. Um, so kind of just story overview. 
Where is my quest there? Quest list. Is that the guy in the tavern? Let's just head out. I want to make it to my dancer and my merchant. I do want Hanit, but it looks like she'll be like the seventh person. Oh, I just skipped this area entirely during the cutscene. Although I can teleport to wherever I've been, so it might not be a bad idea to just go down as far as I want and then I can loop back around. I need to look to bows too. Uh, can I just flee? Unable to escape. I'm just very poor at escaping apparently. Well, going for the ice wind. Going for the plus three ice wind. And you're done. Not bad. Awesome. Almost to level 6. I'll be there soon. Won't have to worry about healing anymore. Take a stroll through the lovely countryside. Ooh! 500 gold dollars, coins, whatever the currency is here. Time to teach you We've a got lesson. a wild boar! You're actually vulnerable to staves. You're a meep! Meep! Well, you're doing as much damage as I am. You are broken. Consider yourself broken. Let's go! You probably have a ton of health, though. And you're charging me. Let's just keep on the onslaught of staff attack. Get the break. I'll go for the plus two staff attack. I want to conserve my SP because I'm low on cash. Relatively low on cash. I don't want to be healing all that much. Get the break. Get me another double boost. Gods, you have so much health. And now you're, you boosted your defense. No! I'm getting kind of low. Let's get to the healing break. My turn again. Let's just use Fireball. He's kind of pretty with the fire generally, right? Thus ends your lesson. Shame I had to use that healing item. Or, shame I decided to use that healing item. I probably shouldn't have, but I don't know the health levels on these guys. I really wish I did. It probably would have been good. Oh god, look at that water. It's such beautiful water for a pixel game. With a game with sprites? Jeez. That's incredible. Anywho, chest here. Fortifying nut. Very handy. Don't know what it's used for. It's got these flags all around the place. Save. Always save. What's this way? There's a beach this way. Oh, what are these? I surprised my foe. You're weak to swords, but you're birds. So let's go light. Let's try lightning first. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Um, let's just go for basic attack since I don't have enough. Don't have enough time to to deal with with breaking them again. The arrows do very little. Reserve the mana. Go for another lightning bolt to break. And then, 
Let's go for a triple boost with lightning bolt. And murderize him! <laughs> Got 56 JP! Oh, I'm getting pretty good levels of JP, actually. I can probably get to another skill soon enough. Ooh, all this way for a chest? I will take it. Can't we settle this like gentlemen? An interesting dilemma. Just one of those birds, nothing interesting. Not even two of those birds, so it wasn't all that good experience. We got a chest, an olive of life. Looks like that's it for over here, maybe? Anything back here? Around the rock? Anything? Oh! Danger level 45! I should not be here. Wait. That... I should not be. <laughs> Level 45, that would definitely be my first death. Okay, press onwards. This map doesn't really clear up very much, does it? I'm probably not even supposed to be here. What is this? Whatever you are, you're probably weak to fire. Hermit Punch. Let's attack you. You look like you've got a ton of health. You are not vulnerable to that. Uh, are you vulnerable to ice? Or lightning? I don't know, you're a hermit crab. What would you be weak to? Well, that was not it. Now I'm thinking that this thing is so tanky. Well, I guess I'm... Well, let's... Let's actually heal up my SP. Let's try here. this. Now, what next? Now... Oh, try ice. ice. You are weak to that, but it didn't break because you weren't low enough yet. Now, what next? Get the break off. Go in for another ice win next turn. Plus three. Go for it. So I am really powerful, it's just I'm very SP reliant. Oh wait, JP, does that mean I got three from that last battle? Um, hello? Is this not a cave? I guess it's not a cave. It's just an outcropping that I can't reach. Cool beans. Let's keep going. Just absorb the scenery for a little bit. I say as I obscure it with the save menu. Um, let's see. Where am I now? I'm right here, so there are, I'm actually right here at Ripple Tide. Which means I should be heading to the left. Yet another bird. Boost points are OP. But SP costs are even more OP. Hello. Ripple Tide isn't the largest port in the realm, but it sure is lively. 40%? I won't risk that. Why does it... Ooh. Hey there. Welcome one and all to the Colzion family provisioners. If we don't have it, no one does. Well, I do need quite a few grapes. Uh, I'll take that much. 
these plums. These plums are so expensive. Oh, it's stay topped off at 10. Anything I can sell? An empty coin pouch? Okay. A uh, large feather. Uh, I'm wearing those. Healing grapes, plums, jams. Now what are these? Components. So there's probably some crafting of some sort. Deals ice damage to all foes. Interesting. So I can just cast spells like that, I guess. Deals great light damage to all foes. Increases maximum HP. Ooh. These nuts are probably going to be very useful. Uh, these are like the vitamins in Pokemon, I guess. Hello, hello. hello. Welcome! If there's something you're looking for, just say the word! 50% chance, no thanks. How about you? Can I scrutinize you? 50% chance also. Very low odds. Um, Anything to buy? Uh, I can buy the Quartz Rod now. For a modest increase in stats. I think that's a good investment. Yes, please. Oh, and I can buy a round shield. I have just enough for that. I won't for now, though, because I'm, <laughs> I'm out of cash. Oh, you're basically the same, same thing. Hello. How's business, beverage vendor? Scrutinize you. A merchant hailing from the Highlands who carries only the best and most distinguished liquors. The tavern in Sunshade is one of its most loyal clients. He knows everything but the taste of his merchandise as he doesn't drink any himself. Well, you're missing out. Now here she is. Tressa. Those stinking pirates. I can't forgive them for this. I'm getting everybody's things back no matter what it takes. I can't do a young girl voice. Her name is Tressa, and she is a merchant. A tiny port town in the coastlands is the only home she's ever known. Here in Rippletide, she cuts deals and stocks shelves, doing all she can to help her family sh keep her family shop afloat. And from the quays she's walked a thousand times, she looks out upon the endless sea and dreams of a wider world. When she is robbed by a band of thieving pirates one day, her pride as a merchant won't allow her to back down. And so she vows to set off for the pirate's den. She will need daring allies on the path she has chosen. It might be good to just go recruit everyone first and then go through their stories. Uh, complete chapter one of their story and they will join you. After chapter one you can change your party members at the tavern. Cool. Uh, yes. Here are the beginning of the tale. Let's do this. This world is brimming with treasures, and I know that what I'm searching for is waiting for me out there, somewhere. So I'll set sail for the horizon, and the great big world that lies beyond. Ready for another day of work? Sure am. And I'll start by stocking up the store. Hold your seahorses, little lady. Tell me, what are the three things a merchant needs most? They need to be smiley, mannerly, and early. Thought you had me, didn't you? You're too clever for me, Tressa. Now off you go. Leave it to me, Pa! 
Be careful out there, Tressa. Oh, those pirates have been causing trouble around the tavern lately. If you see them, you make sure to keep a wide berth, you hear? Got it, Ma. Be back in two ripples of the tide. There she goes. She reminds me of myself when I was that age. Always running off somewhere, wanting to prove myself a full-fledged merchant. Don't flatter yourself, dear. Our Tressa is something special. <laughs> that she is. Now I am Tressa. I must speak with the fisherman at once. Onwards. Oh. Well, if it ain't the hardest working merchant in town. You even beat some fishermen to the pier. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sound so surprised. We both know the early bird gets the worm, or in our case, the fish. <laughs> Darn right it does. Well, here's the catch of the morning. Mm. Blue marlin, I see. A big one too, with lots of good meat on its bones. I can give, I can you, give this you this much. much for it. Huh? It's worth a little more than that. This one's a whopper. Huh. Guess I'll just have to take my business elsewhere then. Your hook snagged its innards. I was willing to overlook the damage, but... Eh... All right. Fine. You got yourself a deal, Missy. My voice Let for this guy keeps changing. Shrewd little one, isn't she? Not bad. We drive a hard bargain. You're a born natural at negotiating. I was wrong to underestimate you. <laughs> you got that right. I may not look like much, but I can haggle with the best of them. I learned my lesson. Well, don't be a stranger. Yeah! I won't. Thanks again. All right. Next up, wine. Utilize player actions. Tressa can purchase items from townspeople. Ooh. Purchase some spirits, please. Quality wine from Ripple Tide. Sweet. We have the finest mead. Always looking for a bargain. Another day, another deal. Deal so good, it was practically a steal. This ought to liven up our little shop. Our little shop. Just me, Ma, and Pa. If I don't take over, I will. The ocean is so vast. I always wonder, what do I really want to do? What do I really want in life? And then I wonder, what lies beyond the horizon? Drop anchor! I 
haven't seen that ship around here before. I wonder where it came from. What a dreary town. But it carries a delectable scent. Its cuisine may be promising. What's the matter, lass? You look like a fish out of water. Is this a trading ship? Indeed, and I am its captain. Well, Captain, the name's Tressa. I'm a merchant in this town. A pleasure to meet you. I'm sure you have all kinds of neat cargo on board. Say, would you mind if I take a peek? I'd love to see what you've brought from overseas. <laughs> You have a true merchant's eye, lass. You gaze at a simple trading ship as if it were made of solid gold. Alas, I only allow passage to those I trust. Aww. <gasps> what was that? I'll go check it out. Busy as a bream, that one. Something's happened, and I fear it's something bad. Don't, I beg you! That's all I have left! <laughs> then we be in the same boat, matey. We got nothing left ourselves, ain't that right, Mac? Hi, <laughs> Mick. And when we be needing something, we be taking it. This is what pirates do, after all. But, but please have mercy. Sir, Captain, I got the goods from that there shop. The one over there. The important one. You ninny. There only be one captain around here, and it be me. Huh? Everyone knows I be the captain and you're my first mate. We'll see about that, Mac, you scurvy swine. Put him up, put him up. Aye, we will, Mick, you scabby bottom sea bass. Can't you both be the captain? Fine. Now show us what other treasure you be hiding. Put up my fisticuffs. Hey! Hey, stop that! <laughs> Says who? Says me. It. The people here are merchants and fishermen doing all they can to put food on the table. Have a heart. Don't steal what little they have from them. How's this for heart? I'll give you one chance to shove off, kid. But I... <laughs> Best to be on your way, little one. We're doing grown-up business here. Uh... I'm not going anywhere! Hmm. Well, well, what you got there, kid? Yo -ho. It's rainbow wine, and it be ours now. Hey! <laughs> a brat like you wouldn't appreciate it none anyways. We're doing you a right favor by taking off your hands. Now say thank you. Uh, Give it back. Lass. That's enough, Lass. But... But Captain... 
Tried thinking You've got pluck, I'll give you that. But they don't look like the types who will listen to reason, savvy? That lily-livered scallywag knows what he's talking about, kid. Best take his advice to heart. In this world, the strong take while the weak quake. Arr, 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 arr. Bye bye now! Thank you kindly for the loot, you deckwit and worms. Fare thee well! Aye, it's been a bloody pleasure. There's no need to pretend. There's no need to pretend, lass. Your legs are trembling. It, it's just a cramp, that's all. Lass. Not even the best merchant can buy back his life once it's taken from him. Mm. I know, but... But... I want to fight. Why won't they just leave us alone? Those pirates should be out at sea! Instead, they're holed up in the caves of Maya, west of town. Here's a map to lead you directly to them, young lass. What do I do now? I just got beaten up by pirates. I lost my bottle of wine. Exit the town to the west and make for the caves of Maya. So I haven't seen any combat yet, but... Hello there. Going somewhere, lass? Captain! Oh. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were setting a course straight for the pirate's den. Awfully rash, wouldn't you say? I know, I... but, but I want to fight! And you still intend to go, I see. That must mean you have a foolproof plan of attack. And a weapon, of course. You wouldn't dare go empty-handed, would you? Only a fool would think they could haggle their wares back from dastardly pirates. I know! I know! But I can't just sit by and do nothing! Those poor people might starve if they don't get their belongings back. On my honor as a merchant, I can't let them get away with this. I want to fight! Oh? A fine choice of words, lass. Really? Er really? Aye, if you're so determined, I won't stop you. However. On the condition that you let me help. Huh? How so? I'm willing to part with some of my wares, if you think they'll prove useful on your journey. If there's something that catches your eye, consider it yours. For the right price, of course. Deal! Deal. So many quests. Purchase goods from a, sh a shipmate. Oh, these are the sh ooh, blue shinies. Essence of grape. So I'll purchase from you. Um, I can get some candy. I don't know what either of those are useful for. Uh, herb of valor, hanker. <laughs> okay. I can buy stuff that can be sold. Sleep. Ooh. It might be effective against a certain pair of pirates. Um. Definitely buy the sleep weed, and I guess I'll buy the healing grape because it's there. Always looking for a bargain. Uh -huh. And what would you need sleep weed for? I'm sure those pirates must be exhausted after all that looting. So I thought I'd help them relax by slipping some of this into their wine. <laughs> 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 
You're a clever one, aren't you? Off you go then. And be safe out there, lass. So what, am I gonna fight them with drugs? Thank you! Thank you. By the way, Captain... Why are you helping me? Because my eye tells me to do so. As a fellow merchant, I'm sure you understand. We appraise with our eyes, and mine tell me there's something special about you. <laughs> I see! Thank you, Captain. You sly dog. And I'm just running in the opposite direction, apparently. Oh. Filling up the wine. That should do the trick. Now to make a special delivery to the Caves of Maya. And so I'm on my way to the Pirate's Den in the Caves of Maya. Really? You're gonna help me? I can't thank you enough. You've got a heart of gold. Now that I've slipped some of the sleep weed into their wine, once they've dozed off, the stolen wares will be as good as mine. Tressa, join the party. Srad. Um, got a bit of money. So what does Tressa do? She holds a spear and a bow. Okay, so instead of uh, magic, I guess, she holds a bow. Uh, she's got shields, some armor, some accessories. Cool, interesting. What skills can I do? Uh, only at skill 4, you've got 0. Rad. Let's save. Plenty of cutscenes. Gotta save. Alright. Let's keep it going. the correct way to go. So down. Oh, my first fight with Tessa against a bird. Let's so I can this. now use, oh, like merchant skills. Collect money from a single foe. Deal heavy wind damage to a single foe. Interesting. But I think I'll go with the staff attack. This is vulnerable. Break! Um, not worth going in for a scholar attack, so I'll just whack it with my staff. That was a big damage increase. I'll go in for another whack. And I'll go in with my lance. The Sea Birdian 1. Good damage. Let's see, go in with more staff attacks. These basic attacks are kind of just... Doing the, doing the work. Oh, Time just took it out. Well, that was considerably easier. Get basically no experience from anything, though. Oh, there's a chest down there. And a chest over here. Another healing grate. Perfect. Just what I always wanted. Oh, well, we've got some flying fish. Weak to electricity. Or it's thunder, rather. Now. Um... Let's try to hit him with an arrow. See if they're weak to that. They're vulnerable. Perfect. What is the logical course of action? Um, he'll get an attack in. Doesn't really matter. Let's strike you. Take a little bit of damage. You come back what in. Is the logical course of action? I'll go in with another... Uh, I'll go with a double boost of the lightning. A lightning bolt. Wow. That does a lot of damage. My turn now. And now I can go in with a double boost of bow. Good damage. Ooh. Two level ups. Fantastic.
Come down for this chest. Open chest in spiriting plum. Always need more SP. Except I don't need it as much anymore now that I've got Tressa here dealing with a bunch of damage. I've yet to try out any of her merchant skills. I'm curious to see what those will do in battle. I can probably use those kind of intermittently. To see what they do in between. Step right up. Some more flying fish. Is that poison? Two more level ups. Wonderful. Essence of Grape. So I guess I can make a grape with that. Essence of Grape. How do you even get the essence of a grape? Is that just like grape juice? Or is it like a spiritual essence that, that you can only extract via magic? That was a birdie number two, which has slightly different weaknesses, I guess. Wasn't too much more trouble than usual though, so not really worth showing. Save point, we're getting close. I think that's where I'll drop this off now. We have met Tressa, we've gotten through most of her storyline now. And we're about to enter the Caves of Maya in order to s put these pirates to sleep and steal back what's rightfully ours. So thank you so much for watching. This is episode 2 of Octopath Traveler on the Nintendo Switch. I'm really enjoying this game. I'm loving the aesthetics. This is beautiful, beautiful graphics, beautiful music. The story is, is pretty good so far. I'm enjoying the characters. And I'm going to be playing a lot more of this soon. So, thank you so much for watching. My name is Tofu, and I will see you in the next episode.